One of the first things we did when we were designing the programs of the Sontag Foundation was to reach out to the community, see what the other funders were doing, and see what the voids might be. And in doing that, we had the opportunity to talk to the other leaders of the nonprofits in the community. And so since 2004, a subset of funders of brain cancer research have been, and these are the private funders, the private foundations, the publicly supported organizations, and we've had the opportunity to share best practices, talk with each other over the years. And this actually, this international study is our third collaborative funding initiative, and it's probably the one we're just most excited about. So we're looking at um, characterizing the long-term survivors of GBM, so people who have lived five years or longer. We're looking at molecular and genetic profiling. We're looking at immune factors. We're looking at the tumor environment. We're looking at some of the medical neuro, you know, neuropsych um, qualities and really hoping to find some common ground that will inform why some people are so successful in fighting this disease and why others are not. And there are um, uh, 24 sites participating. We're accruing patients now. The goal is 400 patients. Uh, results won't be available for quite a while. We don't have any preliminary results yet. And they're in the primarily European treatment centers, but also two treatment centers in the U.S. and, one in, and a couple of them in Australia. And so we're, we're waiting. And then when this information is pulled together, we'll benchmark against what we know about the people who haven't been as successful in fighting the disease. So we're not only looking for the commonality in the survivors, but we're looking to see, make sure that we know what's different from those who didn't survive.